So, everybody thought you were Joey Saldana tonight. I don't know why. I'm blaming World Outlaws 2002. But uh, who are you? You're you're a Caleb Henry guy, I guess. Yeah, I'm just California local and uh, grew up racing outlaw carts. And my dad got me in the sprint car when I was 16. Actually, uh, up here I ran all 410 stuff that year until the end of the year when uh, Vern Morrison gave us a 360 to use, and that was uh, 2016. I ended up getting the Rookie of the Year up here and just kind of progressed through the ranks, you know. Um, trying to follow and, and move up the ranks with everybody else and, and make a name for myself. You know, it's it's tough. I'd, I'd love to get back east, but, you know, the opportunity hasn't prevent, presented itself. And, when you say uh, back east, did you already have an east swing or some sort? No, no, I'd like to just get back there get, and get, out the, get an opportunity. Get out the island because yeah. it seems like there is a bunch of talent over here, but it's, it's like – it's like Hawaii, you know, there's sharks around the island, but they, they ain't ever going to get to the, you know, yeah. to the Atlantic. It, yeah, and I mean, you know, they compare, you know, they say, oh, you know, PA has the best weekly guys or Ohio has the best weekly guys, but uh, I feel like California is probably up there just as well, and, and we don't get the, the opportunities I feel like we should, you know. Or recognition, really. Exactly, yeah, and, uh, you know, we don't have the super high, big paying races week in and week out, and, you know, that just that comes with living in California. Um, we had a really good car tonight, and I just, you know, made one mistake racing with uh, Tim's and them, and these guys are no joke. You know, you make a little mistake, and, and they're sharks, they'll eat you up. So uh, I didn't really have any expectations going in. We struggled really bad last year, and, you know, between the motor having an issue and the car having a little bit of an issue as well, um, we didn't have any huge expectations. And my car owner and I talked, you know, if we come off top 10 in points and, and walk into the show, well, that's a that's a successful weekend for us. We've only made five 410 starts this year, and we've had a couple good runs, and then a couple that were just kind of ho oh, hum. Well, and what's crazy I noticed too is like, if there's a highly competitive car like you in the PA region, it's got you know big corporations all over it. I mean, this is a plain white, plain Jane car. Is yeah. it just not I mean, regional uh, recognition uh, either? I mean, or? We're just uh, you know mom and pop teams. Uh, you know Nick and Carrie, they uh, they go to work Monday through Friday. I mean, I go to work Monday through Friday. Uh, I mean, I, I work average between 40 to, to 55 hours a week, and so, as well as them, they own an RV shop in, in Sacramento called the McCullough's RV and Repair, and, and you know, we, we uh, go to work all day and then go to the shop. I mean, normally it's it's uh, up at 4 a.m., home at 8, 9 p.m., um, and, and I mean, if it weren't for them and, and their wives and family being uh, understanding, my girlfriend, uh, I mean, this thing wouldn't make it to the track, but I mean, they uh, they bust their ass and, and week in and week out, we try and make it to the track. We just, uh, you know, like I said, we're a small team and we don't really have many sponsors. Uh, we have, you know, Davis Truck Paint, Hogue Realty, uh, McCullough's RV and Repair, Davis Truck, I think I, I, think I said that one, Davis Truck Paint, as right. well as uh, Rockstar Services, my guys over in Hawaii. Um, but like I said, yeah, we're kind of just a small mom and pop run team and we just grind grind week in and week out. Well, and, and in comparison, the style out here, you got to really cowboy up on these cushions in California or you're not going to perform. I mean, I love it. I love when it's dry slick with a two foot tall curb and you can just, uh, you know, throw sliders. And if there's a little bit on the bottom, I've won races doing that too. And I just, I feel like uh, our tracks are, you know, really good for that, you know. Growing up in the outlaw cart ranks, I mean, you, you had to learn how to be really aggressive at Red Bluff, and, and you know, you can't be too overly aggressive in the sprint car, but, uh, and then cycling, you know, when I was racing, it was, you were either pull putting around the bottom in the infield or just absolutely letting it hang out upstairs, and, and I feel like that's where it teaches you in the go-kart uh, to go good in the sprint car. and. Um, I mean, that's kind of where I grew up, and, and I'm fortunate enough to, to say that. So if somebody wants to pull for a local guy, there's plenty of them. There's definitely But you're not Justin them. Sanders or Shane Golubix or, you know, Tim Kading. You're kind yeah. of just up and coming, yeah, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm 22, and, and uh, like I said, the opportunity, unfortunately, just hasn't presented itself. I would, I'd be on the first plane back to PA or Ohio if I had the chance to go there, and I just haven't had that opportunity yet. You know, I've tried to kind of reach out to some guys, and... You know, squeaky wheel gets greased, and uh, you know I'm just kind of the Cali kid waiting for the opportunity. And I mean, I've, I'm hungry for it. And like I said, I'll, I know how to work on the things. I know how to tune the motors. I know how to tune the shocks. And uh, you know, um, it's just, it's just you know, trying to get back.